Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you want to learn how to make these character cutout center pieces, stay tuned. I'm using Cricut to cut this out. So the first thing you want to do is upload your characters. I got these SVGs from Etsy. One of the images has a lot of layers in it. And since I'm not going to cut out those individual layers, I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to flatten that image. So it's one picture instead of multiples. And then after that, I'm just going to resize that image. So it's not that big. Now I'm not going to print out these images through Cricut because with Cricut their print and cut doesn't print that big. I wanted to fill up a full page of paper so what I'm going to do is resize that character to 8 inches wide and then this character I'm going to resize it to 8.1 inches. Now we're going to offset those images. This is the part that I'm going to actually cut out with the Cricut. So you want to click on offset and then you want to offset it 0.33 inches. This is going to add a border around your image. Now I'm going to change the color of the background image to match the color I'm going to cut out. Once I finish with that one, I'm going to repeat the steps with the bingo character. So I'm going to offset it at 0.33 inches and then I'm going to change that background to blue. Now that I've done that, I'm going to move the characters and I'm going to actually hide those images because like I said, we're not going to be cutting those out. Now we're going to take these remaining two images and duplicate them. To duplicate, you right click on the image and then you click duplicate. And then I'm also going to flip these characters horizontal. To do that, you click on your image, click on flip, and then once you click on flip, you select flip horizontal and that's going to flip it horizontally. That way they mirror each other. Now I'm going to change these images from print and cut to cut. So I hovered over all of them, change from print and cut to basic cut. And then I'm going to change those colors back to the colors that I want to cut them out as. Now we're going to cut out the top and sides of the base of our center pieces. To cut the side out, you want to click on shapes and then click on rectangle. And then you want to change the dimension to nine inches wide by 0.7 inches high. Then after that, you want to change the color to the color you want to print out. And then for each of the bases, I need two of these little rectangles. So I'm going to duplicate that and then just keep duplicating it until I have four. Once you have two other ones, you want to change those to the other color. Now for the top of the base, you want to go back to shapes, click on circle, and you're going to change the dimension of the circle to 5.1 inches. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so I can get a better look at that circle. Then you want to go back to shapes and you want to click on another circle. This circle is going to be 0.125 of an inch. Now you're going to duplicate that circle. So to do that, you're going to right click and click on duplicate. After you've done that, you're going to add both of those circles to the center of that larger circle. Now you want to make sure both of the circles are even in the center. So to do that, you're going to select all three of those circles, click on align, and then click on center vertically. We want to make sure those two circles get cut out. So to do so, you want to select the big circle, one of the small circles, and you want to click on slice. Now you're going to select the big circle and the other small circle and select slice as well. You can't select all three circles at once because Cricut only allows for you to slice two items at a time. After that, we're going to zoom out and then we're going to duplicate that circle. We need one of those circles for each stand. Once we do that, we're going to change the color just to make sure we cut out one of each color. And then that should be all of our images. So once you finish that, click on make it. And then I like to scroll through just to make sure all my images are showing up. I have a Cricut Explore too, so that's what I'm using to cut these out. So to do so, I'm going to click on browse all materials. Then I'm going to type in glitter because I'm going to cut these out in glitter cardstock. So once you find the glitter cardstock, click on that. Then you're going to cut it out. These are the colors I'm using. I'm using a bright blue and then I'm using a copper color. Because we're using cardstock, make sure to use your light grip mat and not your regular grip mat. This is going to allow for everything to peel off super easy. Now you want to go ahead and load that mat onto your Cricut and then you're going to cut everything out. Because we use that light grip mat, you can see that once everything's done cutting out, that cardstock just peels away so effortlessly. It also keeps that image nice and flat instead of curving. Now we're just going to cut out the remaining images. Since we didn't print our character images through Cricut, we're going to print them through Canva. Select create a design and then do eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Now we're going to add our images. So I'm going to select bingo, add a page, and I'm going to select bluey. Next, you want to crop the image until it's as close to the character as it can possibly get. After that, we're going to resize our image. So I drag the corner of the image until it's eight inches wide. After that, we're going to repeat the step with the next image. You want to crop it. This one's a lot wider than the other one, so we're going to trim it down. Now we're going to resize it. This one we're going to drag until it's 8.1 inches in width. Now we're going to duplicate our pages. So click on the duplicate button at the top of the page, and we're going to mirror that image. To do that, click on flip and then flip horizontal. You're going to repeat the same step with the next character, duplicate it, and then flip one of those images horizontally. 
All right, and then after you're done with that, you should have two images of each character. One of them should be flipped horizontally though. The next step is to save everything. So click on share, then download, then we're gonna print it out. I printed them out on cardstock. I chose 65 pound cardstock. Since I didn't use my Cricut printing cut, I have to cut these out by hand. So I just took some regular paper scissors and started cutting everything out. I sped this part up, but I'm actually cutting really slowly. I wanted to take my time to make sure I cut everything out. Now that everything's cut out, it's time to put our centerpieces together. The first thing I'm using is this pre-cut foam tape. This is gonna give a 3D look to our centerpieces. I used about nine pieces for the bluey cutout and 12 pieces for the bingo cutout. To apply the tape, I turn the bluey character over and then I peel off one side of the backing and then you peel off the other side of the backing. It's double-sided. I like to stick it onto the arms, the tail, the legs, and the ears, and then I stick the remainder in the center. Next, we're gonna stick that image onto our cutout. So you wanna make sure you center it as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then after that, I just press on those foam pieces to make sure they're glued down. Now it's time to move on to the base of the center pieces. The first thing we need is this two pack of floral foam and these skewers. I got both of them from Dollar Tree. You'll also need your handy dandy hot glue gun. We're gonna take one of our floral foams and one of the circles that we cut out. We're gonna lay that circle on top of the floral foam and make sure it's centered. Next, we're gonna take one of our skewers and stick it through one of the small holes we cut out. Then you're gonna take your other skewer and stick it through that other hole. After that, you wanna push down until the skewers go all the way to the bottom of the foam. Then you're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna glue that cardstock down to the foam. After that's done, you're gonna take one of those rectangular strips that we cut out and you're gonna hot glue that to the side of the base. After that side is glued down, you're gonna take that other rectangle piece and you're gonna glue that down as well. This should cover the remainder of the side of the base. Now it's time to glue that cutout onto the base. You wanna take your hot glue gun and glue about halfway up both of the dowels. And then you're gonna take your cutout and you're gonna carefully place it onto the base. You wanna move pretty fast with this because that hot glue does dry pretty fast. Here I'm just pressing on that cutout to make sure everything's glued down. Once that's dry, you wanna flip over the center piece and you wanna glue down the top of those skewers. Now it's time to glue on the back of that center piece. This time I'm gonna take the hot glue gun and go all the way up the skewers. While that's still hot, you're gonna grab that remaining cutout and you're gonna carefully place it on the back. You wanna make sure everything's lined up because remember that hot glue does dry really fast. Now you could stop here if you want, but I'm gonna take a couple more pieces of that foam tape and I'm gonna add one on the tail in between the two cutout pieces. This is to make sure everything still looks 3D. I'm also gonna add one in between the hands. And then this is our last step. The best thing about these center pieces is that they're double-sided so you can look at it from both sides. These are gonna look so cute on the tables at my son's party, y'all. I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys wanna see next and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.